Hi guys, my name is Five Five, and welcome back to my channel. We are gonna start a new series uh, with a game called Shapes I O. It's a sort of organization game. Um, it's all about creating shapes, really. Um, and I've played it before, but they've got a new update for wires, and it does some interesting automation to it. So we're gonna just jump straight into it. So I've started again from the beginning. And as you can see, this is my hub. This is where I start. I've got to get these circles into here. And every level, you have to do different circles. Uh, what? Well, not different circles, different shapes. And it gets harder and harder. And then you have to start coloring them, cutting them, rotating them. And it gets quite interesting. So we need to get 30 of these. So what we're going to do and I'm going to need to, um, at one point, check the effectiveness level because we want to be efficient as possible. So right now, let's just get four. Let's just bring that there, that there, nice and easy. And that. Should give us enough shapes. So as you can see, that's going up pretty fast. Because we've got four of them coming in. I think each one, where do I see it? 0 0.4 items per second. That's the speed of that. So level one completed. Nice and easy. We're going to see how many levels we can do in what they're say around half an hour. And um, go from there. So now they want us to cut the uh, circles in half, but they only want the left side. They don't want the right side. If we give the right side, it won't add to the to the amount that we've accumulated. So we've got a cutter here. Let's see what that does. Let's get, so that's given us the left side. So we need we don't need this one. So if I bring this out here, you can see that that's the right side. We don't need that. We need only the left side. So this is a bit slow. So we are going to delete this. And we are going to make a nice little contraption to get a lot of the left sides in there. So let's do five. And how are we going to do this? So if I put that there, that's not going to work well. So if I do that, that will cut it again. I don't want to cut it again. So it's about two spaces up. Now this might be a little inefficient or a little waste of space. But let's see how that goes. Right. So that's that half done. That's that half done. You know what? I'm just going to put that in there. Um, so that I think it will block up if I don't put it in there. <clears throat> I believe it will block if I do not. So that's that done. That can just go straight like that. And then last but not least. Oh, did it before I could even complete it. So level two done. Upgrades unlocked. So to unlock different like belt speeds, Extracting speeds, cutting speeds, mixing and painting speeds. We have to provide these items. So now I've already given 114. So I can already go straight and upgrade that. Now I need to give the bottom half. 
to get a better upgrade speed for my belts, distributors and tunnels. I do want to get some extractors upgraded. I want to get all of them upgraded actually. I don't know if I'll be able to do this one yet because I can't print, uh, can't color. So again, let's delete all of that. Um, can I just delete it from there? Oh, oh, they're bins. I forgot about them. All right, cool. So we need squares now. And also does that. So that also helps with update, upgrading. So that's pretty simple. We'll do the five here. The soundtrack to this game is pretty decent as well. It's soothing. So once I've got so many of them, I unlock the balancer. While that is doing its thing, I want to look around. So these are all the different shapes. I want to see if there's any stars anywhere, like here. And I want to start getting some of these in. Because we also need this for an upgrade. Let's delete that. Okay, so balance has been locked, unlocked. It can use splitting and merging items. That is exactly what I need. Just in time. So that will load that one up. Let's get some get unified over here. So you can kind of see where I'm going with this. So that, now I wonder if they have enough speed to unify this too. I wonder if that will lock up. But right now, it doesn't matter so much. So we need to get back to the hub, which is down there. Now, one thing I did realize with this game uh, before is that having too many conveyor bit belts around causes significant um, performance issues. So once we start getting tunnels, we're going to use a lot of tunnels. So it's not sort of at face value, so it's kind of hidden. That helps produce, that helps increase performance. So we are making a, a ton of these now. And why that's coming in, we've got to get these halves done. Mm, that's nearly done, so that's great. That's gonna get start getting done. So let's start getting half. What halves do we need? We need the right half. So I just wanna, Wait for the upgrade. And do you know what? I'm going to leave that like that for now because I want to uh, keep getting more squares for more upgrades. So we're going to do the halves over here. And how are we going to cut it? If I put that like that, it'll put the left side there and the right side there. Cool. And again, with the same sort of um, technique, just two up. And later on, I believe we can paste and copy. I'm not sure if we can paste and copy now. We do get the opportunity to paste and copy, which is great stuff. I may just put the other half in a resource sink. So I need, let me just double check the left side. So yeah, let's put that in there so it doesn't block up. Take these halves out. There we go. And then we are just gonna combine them all together.
into one conveyor belt. And look at that, perfect. So hopefully that gives us 70 quite quickly. And let's check how this one's going. So we nearly got 500. And you see, that goes up quite fast. Am I getting a backlog? I am getting a backlog, so I've combined too many together. So technically, I can mostly turn it into two lines to produce it even faster. And that's basically the aim of this game. Okay, control drag to select an area, shift hold to place multiple, yep. Invert orientation of place belts. Yep, so this is the name of the game basically. Create efficient machine like operations to get all the shapes you need. And the shapes get really complicated. So now we need a half circle at the top. So as you saw before, it only cut it in half at a vertical angle. We need to cut it at a horizontal angle. So this is not moving fast enough either. Cutting, rotating and stacking. Okay, so that's upgraded now. So that should move faster. Look at that. Good. Okay, let's get these hot. Let's get these top half circles. I'm going to keep these coming in because we might we may need them later. So again, I'm going to go with the little cutting process that I use. Is that right? That is right, I believe. Right. And then. Hmm. I am gonna do two lines going in here. So I want two lines going in there, maybe like that. And I'm gonna make all of them turn to the top of the half circle. And we can do that with rotation. Now I don't know if I'll have enough space. might be a problem. So if we rotate there you go. That's exactly what I need. And that needs two rotations. So if we take a look at that, that is not done. Maybe one more rotation. There you go. Well, I can just make each belt go in for now. I'm sure this can be, this process can be a lot faster, a lot more efficient. Especially if I just put this here. This one can go like that. And then we'll do the same thing here. Now, I am definitely not the best at these type of games, but I always find it quite fun to play. So I'm going to definitely enjoy this. All right. We didn't really need the last one. We've already got 110. I only need 170. And that unlocks the tunnel thrust, which is amazing. We'll keep our performances low. You can see we're slowly gathering upgrades. Yep, so these tunnels are the small tunnels. I think they can only go one tile apart. 
Um, we need to get the quarters and the bottom halves. So, what I'm going to do, I am going to delete all of this and try and make things a little bit more efficient. I'm going to not do, let's see, we can just do that. And that's what empties it. It is still lagging a bit there. So it looks like two per. So let's delete all of this. And I think this is enough like this. And I think that will get quite a bit of efficiency out of it and stop it from um, from backing up. Because I'd rather be overproducing, sort of um, not having enough space on the belts or having too much space on the belts than it backing up. There we go. And that will just help that. Now, we want the quarter one for painting and we want the quarter one for the upgrade as well. So I'm happy to make quarters. And that means we're going to have to cut this twice. So let's get some extractors done. I'm going to put it this way so I've got space. Cut this. Oh, that cuts at a weird angle, doesn't it? Okay, let's do that. And then, hmm. Okay, I think we're gonna have to do the basic, whoops, not that way. Basic plan there. Oh, upgrade available. Cutting tier three. Look at that shape. Now that is going to be a fun shape to make. Um, yep. So I'm not going to connect it just yet. I just want to plan everything out. Even though that one is connected. We'll do something like that. And then I think I will rotate. What do I need the right side? So how does that look? Let's just get this in the bin to see how it comes out. So that comes out like that. Um, yeah, I think if I cut that again, then it comes out like what? Okay. And if we rotate, wow. <laughs> so we need to cut it twice, rotate the left side twice. And that's just for the left side. Then we need to do the right side. Okay, so let's delete that for now. So we need to get this side like this. So we can rotate that here. We can rotate that here. And here and here so that gets them both like that then we can combine them <coughs> excuse me and then we can cut them again rotate this one 
and then combine them. And what does that give me? Give me loads of the right corner. So, it's a very, um, <laughs> a very, a lot of things going on there. Now, we just got to replicate that. So, let's do that quickly. And that. And that should be the 270 I need quite easily. I don't really need this one, so I'm gonna just delete this. And as you can see, the, um, it's backing up because this is upgraded and other things aren't. Oh, we've got painting now. Time to use colors. So I'm, I'm gonna still let that go up because I want to get this upgrade. I really need this upgrade. I need my belts to move faster. Oh, red circles. So I've got circles here, I've got reds here. We can make a quick um, painting. Painting me mechanism over here. So let's get that in there. Let's get the painter out. So how does this work? We put paint in, we put the shape in, and it comes out lovely. Okay, so if we change that like that, and we put one, two, three, and four. We're gonna have four shapes going in, but it can't go like that because it needs to have some space. Hmm, how is this gonna work? If I do it like that, so it can go in there, come out. I'll have, let's say, four paints here. That goes into that one. Okay, I know how I can do this. Like that. Like that, and like that. That goes there. Oops, not that one actually. I need a bit more space than that. Let's do this one first. Oops. That goes like that. That goes like that. It's like that, and I messed that up. No, I don't want you to go there. I want you to go there. And that's the circles in there. Now, we need to put that there, go in there, that there, that there. Okay, and we need tunnels. Oh, there won't be enough space. Unless I just do this. Can this one fit there? Ah, oh, lovely. That can go like that. Like that, like that, and guys, we have red circles. Why is this one not moving? Yep, there we go. It just caught up, and then we can combine them. And bring them out here. And there you go. We've got color. Right. 
Tak tu ikut ni. Cool. Wow, I need a lot of them now. And then blue stars. I've already got stars, I just need to make blue. Or cyan, should I say. Because that is blue. That is cyan. So that is actually colour mixing. Which we don't have yet. I still need to focus on this, actually. And... Wow. Already going a bit uh, funny. Let me just check the hertz. Let's bring it down to 120. Okay, that shouldn't be too bad. All right. So it's going up pretty fast. I wish it would go a bit faster. It's not efficient enough. Um, because if we look at the distributors, they give out 1.8 items per second. How much can it mix? 0.33. So you can nearly get three mixes from one distributor. So I could technically combine this to do these three. The conveyor belts, three items per second. So that's way ahead. Um, that's the same and six items per second yep so something that would be a bit more efficient would be to combine where is it combine one belt we'll put one belt for three color mixes and that will make it go a little bit faster can I do that because then there wouldn't be a backlog um, Let's try it out. So I can do this. And this. So now that is using one. For free. And I think I could do the same here. And that should make well, at least three of them go a bit more smoothly. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be... It's, it's a little bit off because it's 0 0.33 and 8. So it might be a bit too much. But as we upgrade, it will slowly even out. And there was a calculation before of how many belts should go for one machine or how many distributors should go for one belt. But yeah. We're just about to clear level seven. And um, it's been pretty cool so far. It's been pretty cool. Gaining a lot of items. These ones are coming in nicely. We make, we've, we've nearly got 3,000 of them. All right, let this go all the way to 300. Okay, it's just hit 300 and we have got a variant of the um, rotator. So a variant is, I think it was rotating it at, uh, clockwise. This one actually rotates it 90 degrees anti-clockwise. So it just, instead of us putting three rotators like we did over here, we could just put one anti-clockwise one and it would do the same thing, more efficiency. And with that, my friends, I think we'll call this an episode. Uh, thank you for watching. Peace.